Hi, Crafty Nanny Cola here. Hope everybody's well today. So um, here I am back, uh, and just to remind you that we were doing uh, a an elephant lovey, and we are using fleece, and we are crocheting the edges. So I have started approximately three inches from one of our corners. And I like to start in the corner that's down to whichever your print is. I'm also stitching or crocheting on the wrong side. So you will see in a minute why we're on the wrong side. Now just, uh, you can see the little holes in there, I hope. <laughs> As I stretch it, you can see the holes. Okay, so what I've done is I have started my yarn just put your yarn in any way that you attach yarn to things, it's fine. And what you're doing is you're folding. Remember, we're on the wrong side, so we're folding it over halfway to where the hole is, and then we just, your crochet, crochet hook will find the uh, hole. And I am using a 3.5. Uh, I probably maybe even could have used a little bigger one. Uh, this does stretch out, so you can always iron it to make it stretch out. But uh, you can use any size you want. On my bigger blankets, I actually use Bernay um, blanket yarn and an eye hook. So these holes are very forgiving when it comes to sizes. And um, as you can see, the uh, on the side that is more stretchy, you're going to have bigger holes. There's nothing you can do about it. But when you're done, you don't really see it, uh, you know, that much anyways. You don't want by the time you get the yarn into it. And the bigger the yarn that you use, the less you're going to, uh, you know, see the holes on the stretchy side. So what we're doing is we're putting two single crochets into each hole around until you get to the corner. And now I've already crocheted around most of it. So I'm just going to get until I get to the corner here. I didn't want, I wanted to get it pretty much done so that um, the video wasn't uh, you know, really long. And then at the end, I will go over some of the, uh, what you can do for the amigurumi heads on your uh, lovies. So we'll just finish this up. And uh, if you snag the yarn, just go back and, you know, take it out because, you know, yarn is, it does love to snag. And one of the nice things about the lovies, because one of the biggest things I see on like Amigurumi Addicts and on my um, random acts of crochet kindness, which that one not as much because they don't sew on, but when you're making uh, an actual Amigurumi uh, and not just the head, you have all those limbs to sew on when you're done. And um, on the... Uh, on the lovies, all you have to do is make the head, so you'll only have uh, ears. Basically, on most of them, you'll just have ears and your hands, and that's it. And the hands are easy to sew on and easy to, uh, you know, hide under your, um, under the top. Um, what I like about the hands, I try to make them a little bit longer than what most patterns uh, ask for. I'm losing a hole here. I can't see the hole. So sometimes that... Uh, that uh, tool doesn't always make a hole where you need it, so you can just take a, a sharp scissors and carefully uh, make a hole approximately uh, the same amount away from what you did the other one, you know, with the other ones are on the blanket. Okay, let's see, there's a hole right there. Sometimes the holes, it just... Even though you're, you know, there's no rhyme or reason. I don't know. I have no idea why it does that. Okay, we're almost to the corner. I'm going to find one more hole there. And I'm going to put two in there. Hope you can see this good. I'm trying to get as close as I can. Okay, now we're going to take, okay, we're going to take and we're going to fold down this side. And find our corner. Okay, so here's our middle. And there will be some as close as you can get. It's not always, it doesn't always make it right in the middle. Uh, one of the things that you can do, and I do on my bigger blankets, is I don't make the holes on, the, on this. I only go so far and then I stop 
and then I just make the holes as I, I need on my bigger blankets. So now what we're going to do, we have two there, or we're done two. Now let's find that middle hole as close as we can to wherever that middle hole is, the next hole. And holding all of that together, you're going to put three. And that's going to be your corner. So there's always going to be three in each corner. Two. And three. And then we're going to go back over. And find the closest one there. knew it was there somewhere and then we're going to so try to hold that uh, fabric to the back of your work you could pull it back afterwards but it's just a little bit easier towards towards that when you can get it to go back while you're crocheting okay, let's find the next hole it's kind of far away for some reason. So for some reason this corner didn't make the best. Just try to do just the tip if you do have to make a hole. Just be really careful. Don't don't press too much. Not much pressure on the scissors. Just make that tiny hole. Before I got that little tool, I was actually making all those holes myself. And I tried paper punches and all these different things and nothing really did it and I, I ended up actually using a scissors and uh, it was taking me a really nice long time. <laughs> it was not fun. So here we are. We have just a few here to go until we hit the beginning. Probably one more hole there. Okay, so there's one more hole here. Okay, now, don't see any other holes. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to go into that first uh, stitch, which is either a single crochet if you did the, uh, I'm actually gonna put another little stitch, I think, in there because there's a little bit, a lot of it right there. Pull this down. So kind of pull your, if it's up a little bit like this one is, just pull it there and I think I'm gonna, just going to stick another one in there because for some reason that's kind of far away. So I think I'm going to do two. And that's, I'm doing that back in the beginning. So, and then just, so if you started your, um, the beginning with a, uh, I'm just going to put one in there. Two is too many. And uh, slip stitch it. So either you you either have a single crochet or a slip stitch, however you started your uh, blanket. And then we're going to chain two. And you're going to double crochet in each one around. And when you get to your corner, you're going to find your three, and you're going to put three of them in the middle of that three cluster there. So I will get back to you uh, when we get around to that part. So as I said, the next step is your double crochets. And I've gone ahead and double crocheted in each uh, single crochet around. If uh, you find that some of the single crochets are a little bit far, you can put an extra one in. These blankets are very forgiving, so there's not a problem. So when you get to the corner, what I did in those three, that three cluster crochet that we did. Okay, in the first crochet, I put two double crochet, in the first single crochet from the last round, I put two double crochets in the middle, three double crochets, and on the last one, two double crochets. Then go back to just one double crochet in each corner. And as you can see, remember how when we saw it before, it was so uh, bunched up. 
And look at what, how once you get the double crochet, how nice it comes out and flattened uh, right there. So I'm almost to this corner. So we'll go into the next double crochet. I'm almost at the end of my yarn, so I was unwinding the yarn there. And I'll show you what yarn I'm using in just a minute when we finish this. And so here we've got... I just <coughs> Excuse me. And we got... That looks like that is... Okay, so here we are in the three cluster. So we're doing one two, and we're doing three, one, two, and three, and then two. And then back to one. I just let my dogs outside and it's all windy again. So here we are at the last uh, double crochet. So I have back to my chain. I think I'm going to put an extra double crochet right there. So remember, it's better to have a few more than too little. And then I'm going to uh, connect it, slip stitch. To the top of the chain two. Now at this point you need to decide are you just going to continue with this color and of course you can use three different colors if you want to. You can use one for the single crochet. You can use it to match uh, you know like I could have used a gray or a silver and um, at this point you can either uh, do any edging you want. There's uh, You can do a single crochet uh, and then uh, single crochet, half double crochet. Uh, so we've slip stitched here. I'll show you what that one is. And you can change colors here. So single crochet, half double crochet in the next, double crochet, half double crochet, and a single crochet. Now that's just going to give you a little bump and you can do that all over and do the edge there. I just do uh, a chain three. I do a chain three, one, two, three, skip one and go into the next one. And I do that all around, but I am going to do that with silver so that it's the same as the other. So that's, that's the blanket. and. Then you're when the front you will see just pull any little things and you can cut these little things like this off at the edge if you have it sticking out and just kind of tuck it under there and of course don't forget to tuck in your yarn I just I bring it to the back this piece here just bring it through the hole to the back and then wind it in with a needle. So there, there is the blanket there, and of course here the one. This is how it will be when you're flattening it out, and then you will have your little head right here, and you will have this little blanket like this. So the yarn I use, uh, the pink. It's, I, I love this yarn, and that's from Hobby Lobby, and I buy it when it's, uh, thir I think it's 30% off every other week. If you know how Hobby Lobby runs, uh, it looks like on one week they have 30% off on all the fabric, and then the next week they have 30% off on yarn and all of the um, uh, trimming. So I'm a seamstress, uh, is what is, is my basic thing. Seam seamstress. Uh, sewing and crocheting, those are my two favorite of everything uh, that I do. <clears throat> now, I'm going to show you these two different elephants. And now this is, um, I got these this pattern 
uh, from Amigurumi today, and you can, uh, that's a free site, you can sign up and you can get free patterns. However, you cannot copy the patterns, you cannot, they do not copy on your computer. Uh, you would have to do it on your phone if you were, um, you know, making it, uh, if you were making it from there. They do have a place where you can click on the PDF and um, that is a paid, that would be a paid pattern. But here's the elephant. And now the, I liked this elephant because it was worked all in one, the head. So it was, it was really nice and it's easy to do. But what upset me was when I got done and I don't know if I didn't stuff it quite enough, but it seemed to get flat in the back where this is usually hidden when you're not doing it from one. And of course, the only time you would really have to do that is if you're going to connect a muzzle or something onto the uh, animal. So I did my own thing and I made my own head and I did my own little trunk. And uh, this is the pat this is my own pattern here. So I did my own little trunk and then I just, I sewed it on, but I made the round head so that the, it would be nice and uh, round in the back and the part that uh, looks that I call the not so pretty part um, is down here and covered. And the ears I did a little bit different too. They had you do the ears uh, with the, um, you know, like a normal amigurumi, but I wanted to make sure that the ears had um, the variegated. So I did a cluster, uh, excuse me, a circle of, um, I did the pink first, the inside ear, and on this one, the gray first. And I did a cluster, a, a ring of uh, 24. And then I did the same with the, what I was going to use for the outer ear. And then I took the inner ear and then I did 30 around the outside. So it would, so uh, single crochet uh, increase, or single crochet three times and then increase would be for 30. So I will eventually get that pattern um, written up. But like I said, you can find just about any pattern on that amigurumi today to make the heads. And the hands, the reason I like to make the hands a little bit longer, these were a little bit shorter, I went by the pattern. And I added some more onto this is because babies love, I've had, uh, I raised two families, so I know what babies love. And they love to get a hold of this. And their little hands are just right to get a hold of these. So the longer you make these, the easier they are. And the elephant is also one of the best because obviously they can get a hold of the trunk. So if you have any questions or uh, comments, you can leave them down, uh, or any questions, you can leave them down in the comments section. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helped out. And um, as far as the amount of yarn, uh, just use leftover yarn for this project. It doesn't take a lot of yarn. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope this helped.